people who aren't used to leading funerals may need to lead funerals for our communities, either because their rabbis or cantors aren't well at the moment during the coronavirus, or because you are in communities without clergy. So there are specific rules about taking funerals and cremations during the time of this coronavirus. First of all, please limit the amount of people who come, maximum, maximum 40, but of course the fewer may feel much harder, but will be a way of preserving other people. We are encouraging people not to start off in the chapel, in the hall, in the ohel, the tent, but to do this by the graveside, not to have a line up, so, I mean, you, you know, line up where people are shaking hands and kissing is clearly not appropriate. And also that either people bring their, uh, bring a book that we can try and send, you know, we can send it to you or we can send you a PDF or that they take a book from themselves rather than the team having to give it to you. A funeral service is actually a very flexible type of service to lead. And I would encourage you to look through and see which readings are appropriate for the person that you either knew or have heard about. And please feel free and have flexibility in adding their name in. So you might want to say, for instance, uh, who God who may live in your tent, who may dwell on the mountain of your holiness, those people like, and then say the person's name. The main part of the funeral service, we have marked very clearly with the funeral services on page 35. And that's the part that, that is the centre. The other part sort of leads in. This is the centre of it, um, which is also very familiar to people so they understand this is happening now. And it, a funeral, like other services, is a sacred drama. It's a choreography where you are taking people and enabling emotional transformation by the ritual that you do. So go through the part that says funeral service. Often we do the eulogy, the hesped, where there are stars on page 37. Um, and then just before we go out, um, we will say Adonai Natan va Adonai Lakach, Yeshem Adonai Mavarach, which is on page 37. God has given and God has taken away. May God's name be blessed. And then we walk out or you'll be by the grave to the grave and you might choose some other psalms. And then the part that you need to do is to say or sing, and we can give you the music for that if you want, the um, memorial prayer, El Malei Rachamim, um, in Hebrew or in English, or both. And certainly if you're singing it in Hebrew, say it in English. And then the Kaddish, uh, which also has transliteration at the back. And then you want to finish off by saying something. Don't just leave it with a Kaddish. There are quick, brief ending prayers in the Siddur. And then there are the traditional words, which are ha makom, the all present, makom yinachem otchem, or otcha, may the all present uh, give you a compassion and comfort, betoch sha'a avlei tzion v'yushalayim, amongst the others who are mourning in Jerusalem and Zion. And those that, that is also you will find in this book. But if you need any help, please let me know.